China has something called the Eight Great Traditions, the eight regional cuisines that are most recognized and best represent traditional Chinese cuisine. But when it comes to Chinese cuisines that foreigners tend to like, many of the most popular don't make the list. And near the top is always this cuisine, Dongbei food. Dongbei is made up of the three provinces in the northeast of China. Heilongjiang, Jilin, and Liaoning, all sharing a hearty meat and potatoes cuisine called Dongbei Thai. Spotting a Dongbei restaurant is pretty easy. If you can't recognize the characters, you can spot the red and green floral patterns that usually adorn the outside, the menu, as well as the interior. It's not a Christmas-themed restaurant. It's one of the best Chinese cuisines. Missing it. Whoa. <laughs> well, the most incredible thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> we'll start with the obvious. No one does dumplings better than Dongbei. If you come to a Dongbei restaurant, you have to get dumplings. This dish is called Di San Xian which literally translates to three fresh vegetables. It's bell pepper, eggplant, and potatoes stir-fried together. When it's made well, it shouldn't be too oily. The eggplant shouldn't be soggy, and the potatoes should be very crispy. Does it say donkey on the menu, or are you just assuming it's I got that on camera. Did you get it on camera? Dongbei food is very starch heavy. This dish is Tudo Shao Nuro, literally meat and potatoes. No wonder it's very popular with foreigners. There's no bones in it. It's a very simple dish, but it's very tasty. A cooking method that's intrinsic to Dongbei food is Duen Cai, or stewing. <laughs> This is braised chicken and a very salty sauce that's made with star anise, ginger, cloves, etc. Mm, that's great. Next up, more meat. Liu Rou Dar is a salty fried pork dish. It's a more savory version of Guo Bao Rou, which is sweet and sour. Guo Bao Rou, this dish is chosen to use the chicken rice from the Li Ji Rou. There are many, many more really great Dongbei dishes. And like most Chinese cuisine, this is very much a communal affair. So get some friends together. Try out some of these dishes, or just choose at random. This is definitely one of the great eight cuisines for foreigners in China. After wandering aimlessly for a while, we learned the Riverside Forest Park is not far, and hop in a taxi heading toward the coast.